Today we're going to be making this easy little scrubby. It whips up in no time. It's not hard to make at all. I've also got this one that I've made. This is a little bigger than I like. Probably try to make one a little bit smaller. But I'm using the Red Heart Scrubby Yarn. You see here. This comes in a variety of colors. I'm going to make a yellow one today. It's easier to see on the video. I have made a blue one and I think I'm also going to try putting the two colors together, two strands together, and seeing how that turns out. But I'm using a 5.5 millimeter. Let's see if I can get close in on here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's an eye or 9 or 5.50 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, you will need your scissors, and I like to use a blunt needle. If you don't have a blunt needle right now, it doesn't matter. You can use a regular uh, wide eye needle. And we're going to get started here, so stay tuned. So I'm leaving in quite a bit of a long tail, 10 to 12 inches for this project, making my slip knot. This is how I make mine. Wrap it around, go into the front piece of yarn, grab the back piece, grab the tail with my thumb and index, let my two fingers out, and then just pull it until it's snug on the hook. Now to start off, we are going to chain 22. So we've got one. two, three, four. So I have finished chaining 22 and now we're going to connect this end with the first chain so that we'll have a circle. So you just bring your hook through the first chain Grab your working yarn, put it around the hook, go through that first chain, and then go through the loop on the hook. So now you've got your circle. And now we're going to chain three. So we have one, two, and three. Now what we're going to do is work inside the circle and we're going to do 25 double crochets. Pick up the working yarn, go inside the circle, pick up the working yarn, come back through the circle, pick up the working yarn, go through two, pick up the working yarn, and go through two. So, so far we've got our chain three and we've got one double crochet. I'm going to do another one, pick up the yarn, go in the circle, pick up the yarn, come back through. Pick up the yarn, go through two, pick up the yarn, go through two. All right, so we are going to go, I'm going to go ahead and finish making a total of 25 double crochet. I am not going to count my chain three as a double crochet. So it'll be a chain three plus 25 double crochets. If it starts to bunch up as you're working, and when you get around to the other end and you're only maybe at 20, all you have to, and you don't have any more uh, room here, just go ahead and just push these together to give yourself more room. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and work around and if it gets bunched up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, carry on. So here I've done 17 double crochets so far. And you see right now it just kind of looks like a, a wristband. And I'm down to the end here. So as I was saying before, you can just push these over to give yourself room. Just push the double crochets down a little bit. There you go. And to give yourself some more room so you can finish doing the, the 25 double crochets. And I do recommend counting your work. No matter what I'm making, every time I finish a row, I go back and I count to make sure I have the right number because there's nothing worse than spending a couple of hours crocheting and then you have to rip out 
two hours worth of work because you didn't count to make sure you had the right number of double crochets or single crochets or whatever your project is calling for. All right, so I'll meet you back down at the end after I finish the 25 double crochets. Okay, so I have finished my 25 double crochets. Here is the tail, here's the chain three when we first started this row, and as you see, it comes around, kind of looks like a wristband. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go right into this gap between the chain three and the, our first double crochet. And we're gonna do a post double crochet. And I think it's called a back post double crochet. So you grab the yarn, your working yarn, you go into that gap, and you come behind that first double crochet. Then you pick up your yarn, you come back through the back of the double crochet. Now you have three loops. You grab your yarn, you go through two loops, and you grab your yarn and you go through two loops. All right, so we've just done a back post double crochet around our first double crochet of the previous row. And we're gonna do this again. Grab your yarn, go into the next double crochet right behind it, Pull up your yarn, come back through, grab your yarn and go through two, and grab your yarn and go through two. We're going to do this all the way around until we come to the end. I'm going to do this one more time, but I do want to show you that you can mark your place, but you've got your tail right here. So you'll know when you come around where you first started this new row. All right, and again, make sure that you do count. You should have 25 of these when you get through. I'm gonna do this one more time. Pull up the yarn, go into the gap, go behind that double crochet, grab your yarn, come back through, grab your yarn, go through two, and grab your yarn and go through two. All right, I'll meet you down at the end. Okay, so I have finished my 25 double back post double crochets and we're actually going to continue doing the same pattern now this looks offset here that's normal if you've crocheted before and you feel like you've done something wrong that's not this is not wrong it's supposed to look like that okay so now we're going to go into this next double crochet right here which was our first back post double crochet from the previous round and we're going to do the same thing again pick up the yarn go behind it pick up the yarn come back through go through two and go through two now you're going to continue this around and you just keep going until you get at least about four inches right at four four inches and then you'll know by the tail that you've come to your end and I'll meet you back after we've completed that much and show you how we finish this off. That simple. Okay. I have finished around to the end and this is four inches. Now I'm going to bind off. So what I'm going to do is cut the tail and I'm going to make it nice and long better to have it too long than not long enough and what you do is you bring up the working yarn and just bring it through the loop and then pull the tail completely out And now what we're going to do is we're going to weave this end and the bottom end. We're going to do just a weave through here. We're going to take our blunt needle and then once we weave through there, we will tighten it up and it will close. 
So I'm going to get my needle. And this is my wide eye needle to make sure my yarn can get through there. And there we go. <clears throat> okay, so you just, I do, I like to do every other one. And I just go into this first gap right here. Pull it through. Oops. This is why I like to leave a long tail. And I just skip to the next one. And the next one. Pull it through. Continue all the way around. Skipping that one, going into this one. And I want you to continue that all the way around. I'll meet you on the other side here. Okay, I've gotten to the end. I'm gonna do one more right there and pull it. And I'm gonna pull this needle out and just grab the thread and just pull this closed. And just keep pulling it. until you cut it nice and tight. Don't pull too hard. You don't want to break the thread. So there's the one end. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the other end. And then we're going to pull it closed. And then once this gets pulled closed, you're going to push this together to make your scrubby. And I'll show you how to finish off. So I've got both ends. Tightened up together, just push it in. Kind of like it like that. Looks like a little blowfish. You just push it together like that. You take the last end that you were just working with, just put it through the middle, come out the other side, take it like that and take your needle out and then all you do is just tie this make it a little tighter there we go and then you're just going to tie this until you feel that it is secure enough however many times i'm going to do that once and then i'm going to do it one more time should be good and then just take your scissors and just cut there we go and there you have it and there's your dish scrubby now I have made two so far with this piece of yarn plus I use this yarn on this one so I can probably make a, quite a few more with this. There you go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.